The goal of Prop 28, and that's a magic number, is to hire a whole bunch more art and music teachers in California's public schools. Let me paint you a picture. Take the big pot of money that the state spends every year to fund K through 12 schools. On top of that, add this new pot of spending, equal to 1% of the bigger pot, about $1 billion. This money would be used to pay for more art classes, most of it to hire new art teachers. All kinds of art, music, painting, photography, dance, theater, even computer coding. But to be very clear, this is not new money. Prop 28 has no new taxes and no plan at all, in fact, to pay for the billion dollars of spending. If you pass it, you're giving the legislature an unfunded mandate. Lawmakers would have to find the billion dollars to spend on art classes when they make the state budget in the future. For perspective, we're talking about half of 1% of the state budget. Still, it does have to come from somewhere. One last note, if you look in the state voter guide, you won't see any argument against Prop 28. That's because in our state of 40 million people, nobody bothered to send in an argument against it. A yes vote on Prop 28 dedicates the billion dollars a year out of the state budget towards art schooling. A no vote rejects the measure.